Hello, and today I'm reviewing Daughters of the Sea May, which is the second book in the trilogy, and I'm currently reading the third book. So I actually know that this series is about actually three sisters. Yeah, Hannah has two sisters. And this is May, who is Hannah's biological sister, and the lighthouse keeper found her floating in a box as a baby and brought her home because his wife couldn't have children. So, he raised her and he became an alcoholic because her mother is a hypochondriac and thinks that she's always ill and there's always something wrong with her and she's bedridden and she can't do this and she can't do that. And she turns out to be quite a nasty, evil character. And talking about characters for a minute, the diversity from the first book carried over into this because we have the mother who is always ill. We have the father who's an alcoholic. And they show different emotions. They really do. Um, and then we show... Well, and then we see two male characters, love interests for May, And one of them you really, really want to like in the beginning because he notices her. And he's kind of a man's man. But then it turns out that he's quite cocky, he's rude, he's arrogant, he's got stalker-like tendencies. And he ends up trying to kill the other love interest, who is a smart Harvard man. And he actually finds out what May is. And when he does, he doesn't care. He still loves her. So it's very, very interesting. It's an excellent second book to the series. Um, we see a little bit of Hannah in this. Well, probably for like 20 pages, we see quite a bit of Hannah. Um, this book kind of happened before and during the events of the first one, so it's a little confusing. But unlike Hannah, who is a little unsure of herself, May is very sure of herself. She's very comfortable in her own skin or scales I guess you would say she's completely comfortable with what she is and she thinks of her she thinks of her fins as beautiful but it's revealing those to people and not seeming like a freak that bothers her but other than that it's it's okay so anyway I give this book four out of five stars and the only reason I gave it four is because I think that it should have been the first book instead of the second. I think that this one should have been the first one. Hannah should have been the second one because I think that would have synced up a lot better and I think that the characters in this even though there was a lot of diversity in the first one, I think that there's a lot more evil characters in this compared to just um, Leela or Lila or whatever the hell her name is. Oops. Um, from the first one. There's a couple of evil characters in this. And I'm kind of waiting to see if them and Lila kind of bunch up together because they just seem like they could be a group. But anyway, like, comment, and subscribe. And if you've read this, tell me. And if you haven't, let me know what you think. And my next book that I will be reviewing is the third one in the series called Lucy by Catherine Lasky. And that is what I will be reviewing next.